Hello everyone. I, as I promised, I was planning on getting 50 to 60 miles on these shoes, the Noble Knit Runners, and I have done so. I have 61 miles on these guys, the blue ones. And I'm pleased to say they are holding up very well. My initial thought, uh, if you watched my first review, I will put a link in there for you. Uh, my first review, I was worried that uh, with the play in this knit, how it really is stretchable, that my upper was going to blow through the edging here. Um, I'm pleased to say that there is no visible wear or stretching or tears through any of this. And this is a very hard uh, heel cup. It's nice. Your foot does sit in there well. And uh, I run in inserts. So that actually provided me a lot more uh, lateral stability uh, up on the upper edges of the shoe, which was nice. But this is this does not come with this shoe. This was just uh, something custom orthotics that I have due to some arthritis in my foot, flat feet. So uh, first, let me talk about how light these guys are. They're very light. It does have a 10 millimeter heel to toe drop. I'm not all into the schematics of shoes. My bottom line is I run in them. Are they comfortable for my foot? Do I have foot pain? Do I have knee pain? Do I have um, IT band issues? Uh, I can say on pavement, I do not have any issues with these. I've done up to eight, I think a nine miler on pavement and a gravel mix. Very comfortable, uh, just the right amount of cushion. They seem to be holding up very well. The tread pattern, I'll let you look at that real quick. I do supernate a little bit and I do not see uh, too much wear pattern on the outer edge of the shoe maybe just a little bit starting but with 60 miles in there I've had some shoes where psh, you could pretty much already see the tread pattern was wearing off um, I, they breathe very very well this netting is very comfortable with how much stretch it has I absolutely love this portion of the shoe, this ankle uh, sock-like feeling is very comfortable. No blisters, no falling down. These laces, oh my gosh, guys, these laces are probably the thickest, craziest laces I've ever had on a running shoe. No issues with them coming untied. I don't knot them. I just traditional kind kindergarten bow tie and they stay so that's really nice. But your foot fits in there really nice. It hugs my foot really well. And even if you do have a bunion like I do, um, and it does protrude out to the side like this, um, again, no, no rips or tears. Uh, so I'm, I'm very, very pleased with these. They are pricey, 150, 160 bucks, I think. So this is probably the most expensive shoe I've ever purchased before. Uh, I'm glad I did. No bull, uh, job well done. I really don't have much to say other than the price is the negative aspect of it. I'm not a formulated shoe review guy. I'm a true runner and I bought these to run in them and to critique them and to let you all know, should you go spend 160 bucks on these, as with every review guy, they will all tell you, or girl, that your foot is individual to you. Each shoe, what I might like and what works for my flat foot with a bunion, with arthritis, with no arch, uh, what works for me might not work for you. This shoe works for me, so I'm very pleased with it. Uh, would I encourage you to go try it? If you have 160 bucks, go try it. It worked really well. Uh, comparable shoe, I would say for a road shoe, this is comparable to the cushion of a Hoka. Uh, very fluffy, uh, squishy, but responsive. So I can do a good six, seven mile speed workout in these and I feel like I'm springing forward and I'm bouncing. My feet don't sweat in them and yeah, they're, they're nice, light, responsive, quick. And uh, this is... Uh, I was initially thinking after that first run, yeah, I'm going to have a hard time putting 60 miles on these 50. Um, now I seem to be grabbing them over my other shoes, which is really nice. And 
I have Brooks, I have Hoka's. Um, for a street shoe, most of my shoes are trail shoes. So this is one of uh, two pair of street shoes that I have and I'm tending to go to these more than the other, uh, other pair. So if you have any questions, please, by all means, um, put them in the comments. I am very responsive as I don't have a lot of subscribers. So if you leave a comment, I'm gonna see it and I will comment back to you and answer any questions that I might have on this shoe. But uh, the colors are great. The, they have a bright yellow one I saw online. They have a white one, although I would just, the white ones would be <laughs> so dirty uh, the way I run in them. Uh, and the gray ones are cool looking. So yeah, once these wear out, if, uh, if I have the extra money, I might get another pair of different color and try those out. Uh, colors they're just bright and they're they're fashionable and I do wear these out on the street as a walker too so they're they're comfortable in that regard and they are I think I like the way they look very stylish so again guys if you like the video like subscribe share it um, sh I've gotten great responses on my first one so appreciate that I'll put a link into my first video like I had mentioned uh, so thank you all for the support I appreciate it take care